two in our textbook that we're following. So, hey, don't forget all your lessons. If you don't know already, if your teacher hasn't told you, can be found at mrmathlog.com. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. So, uh, I'm offline, so I can't click of any of these right here. If you go to mrmathlog.com and you go right here where it says integrated math I have all the year you know when you get into the higher level math classes those are all up there also but integrated math you go find your lesson and that's this lesson right here um, again I'm offline right now and it's not even up until I I get done uh, uploading this video right here anyways that's where you can find uh, the rest of your math class lesson so let's go ahead and get started here so suppose Corey and his friend Walter go to a movie and this is all word problems you guys so today We'll try and break it down though, don't worry. Uh, each of their ticket costs the same amount and they share a frozen yogurt that costs $5.50 and the total amount of money they spent is $19.50. So how can we write an equation that describes this situation? All right, well here's our important information right here, okay? So they're gonna ask us a series of questions, okay? So the word blank tells us that that relationship is an equation, okay? The word is right here, this is means we're gonna have an equation right there. So you ever see the word is that just means equal sign so the word total this word right here total tells us that this operation involving is going to have some addition involved in it okay so what numerical information do we have well we have this fact right here that um, uh, the frozen yogurt cost 750 and the total amount of money that they spent is 1990 okay and so uh, what is the unknown quantity well the unknown quantity is is the movie tickets how much the movie tickets are so the cost of each ticket remember um, uh, they both uh, each bought a ticket there so here's some more questions so choose a name for the variable in this case we're going to use C for the cost of the ticket okay and the variable description is twice the cost of uh, a ticket because um, uh, both of them went to the movie and they both bought a ticket plus the cost of a yogurt okay equals is gonna is gonna equal the 1950 or the or the total amount of money right there okay so to write an equation we write a, a numerical or an algebraic expression for each quantity and insert an equation sign an equal sign because of the word is in the appropriate space okay so the equation is going to be well since we have um, uh, two tickets that we're going to have and each ticket costs c we're going to have 2c plus the 550 for the yogurt is going to equal the total cost of 1950 okay so there's our equation right there okay so how can we use a verbal model to write the equation for the given situation well I don't know something like this so twice the cost of each ticket so remember it's 2c so c is the cost of the ticket plus that cost of that 550 yogurt equals the total cost 1990 so I, I guess something like that is what they're at they're, they're asking for right there alright so can we write a different equation that describes that situation well yeah there's all kinds the best one is the one that we wrote but we could have done you know the cost member of C is the ticket so here's a ticket here's a ticket here's the yogurt here's the total right here okay or the one that we gave 2C plus 550 equals 1990 or uh, if we subtracted 2c from both sides, then we get 1990 minus 2c equals 550. I wouldn't have done that one. I, it may be that one or that one I would have chose right there. Okay. So yeah, we can. There's always another way to do that. So, so okay. So this next example shows us how to make an equation using the distributive property. Okay. We didn't solve that one, but we certainly could have, and we'll do that with this one here. So Aaron and Alice are bowling. Are both bowling. Alice score is twice the difference of Aaron's score and five. Okay. That one's a little tricky right there. We'll come back to that. And the sum of their scores is 320, so we're going to add Aaron's and Alice. It's going to add up to 320. Find the student's bowling scores, okay? So write and solve an equation. Okay, so if we let A equal Aaron's score, because Aaron looks like um, uh, everything's revolving around Aaron right here, and then it says Alice's score is, okay? So that's going to be our equal sign. Alice's score is, or one of them, is twice, there's the two right here, twice the difference, there's the minus sign for the difference, Aaron's score, remember Aaron's score is A, twice the difference of Aaron's score and 5. 
So there's the difference of Aaron's score in 5, and there's twice that right there. Okay, so Alice is 2 times A minus 5. Okay, and then the total, you guys, the total, the sum of their scores is 320. Okay, so let's plug in Aaron's score plus Alice's score equals 320. Okay, now we're going to solve that equation for A. Okay, so we're going to use that distributive property. You guys have done this before. Okay, so we'll distribute. So the hard part's done. Now we're just solving for A. Okay, we just had to come up with this equation right here. And you guys don't, I'm sure it was confusing, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, you guys. So, you know, um, uh, give yourself some confidence there. It's hard at first. It'll get easier. I promise it will. But just don't give up on yourself, okay? So um, now we put this 2 through. So 2 times A and then 2 times 5 is 2A minus 10 right there. And then we're going to, I think I slid that up on the next slide right there. Yeah, now we're going to combine like terms. A plus A is 3A. And then we're going to go ahead and add 10 to both sides to get 330. So 3A equals 330. And then this says 3 times A right here. So we're going to divide, do the opposite and divide both sides by 3. And we get A equals 110. Remember, A is Aaron's score. So Aaron's score is 110. Alice's is um, uh, twice the difference of Aaron's in 5. So, so plug in 110 right there. So 110 minus 5 is 105. And so twice that is 210. Okay, let's check our answer. It's always good to check our answer, you guys. It did tell us uh, that the sum of their scores was 320. So if we add Aaron's score plus uh, Alice's score, it adds up to 320. So it checked out okay. All right, let's try another one, you guys. All right, Marie, Carlos, and Amanda collect stamps. Carlos has five more stamps than Marie, and Amanda has three times as many stamps as Carlos. Altogether, they have 100 stamps. Okay, so find the number of stamps. So let's write a verbal description of this basic information. Information, Sorry, tongue twister. All right, so the total number of stamps for all three is 100, so that just means uh, each score is going to add up to 100. So we'll let S equal uh, the number of stamps that Marie has, because it seems to uh, revolve around Marie, because Carlos has five more stamps than Marie, and then Amanda has three times as many as Carlos. Okay, so if S represents the number that Marie has, Carlos has five more than that, so that's going to be um, uh, S plus five. Five more than means addition. And then Amanda has three times as many as Carlos, so we're going to wrap this in parentheses and make that three times that many right there. Okay, and then we're going to use this information. We know that this is uh, Marie right here. S equals Marie. S plus 5 is Carlos. And 3 times S plus 5 is Amanda. And it says the total number of stamps is 100. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add them up to be 100. All right, so let's go ahead and put that 3 through by the distributive property right there. So 3 times S and then 3 times 5. Most of my kids will get this part okay and distribute that first part, but they often, me too, you guys, I forget to put the 3 all the way through. 3 times 5 is 15. All right, let's combine like terms. S plus S plus 3S is going to get us 5S. And then uh, this plus 5 and plus 15 is this plus 20 right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and subtract off that 20 on both sides and get 80. So 5 goes into 80 uh, 16 times. All right, let's answer the question here, you guys. So, so remember, Marie has S stamps, Carlos has S plus 5 stamps, and, and this is Amanda's stamps right here. So we just plug in 16 right here, right here, and right here. Okay, so that's going to tell us that uh, Marie has 16 stamps, Carlos has 21 stamps, and Amanda has 63 stamps. Always it's good to check your answers, so let's go ahead and add them up, and they do add up to 100, so looks like everything works out okay. All right, hey, would a, a fractional answer make sense on that last situation? Could we get a fraction of an answer? Well, no, uh, because a fraction of a number of stamps doesn't make sense. You, we're not going to get a, a quarter of a stamp or something when they're collecting stamps anyways. So what what might it mean if the um, if a check revealed that our uh, answer to the real world uh, world problem didn't make sense? Well, if our check didn't work, you guys, then the equation it probably was written wrong, or we may have solved the equation incorrectly. Sometimes, you guys, um, uh, that our answers will never be solved. It can't make sense with that given situation. So, all right, one more, you guys. A rectangular garden is fenced in on all sides with 256 feet of fencing. The garden is eight feet longer than it is wide. Find the length of the, uh, and the width of the garden. Okay, so here's our garden. It's a rectangle. The, so if this is our W is wide right here. The garden is eight feet longer, so W plus eight. 
Okay, and then it says uh, all the way around, uh, we used uh, 256 feet of fencing. So if this is W, this is going to be W. If this is W plus 8, this is going to be W plus 8. So let's go ahead and, so this 2W represents this W and this W. This 2 times W plus 8 represents this W plus 8 and this one. There's two of them right there, okay? Let's go ahead and use the distributive property. And so we get 4W plus 16 equals 256. So when we subtract 16, we get 240. Finally, we divide by 4 and we get W equals 60. W plus 8 equals 68. And you got it. Let's check our answers here. So it adds up to uh, 256. Okay, you guys. If you are in my class, that would be the assignment I would probably assign you. And don't forget, you guys, all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathlog.com. Take care.